Hey guys, what I'm reviewing today is the Tree Life Smart Dimmer Switch. Tree Life Smart Switches are pretty much the cheapest smart switches you can get on Amazon, and I'm finding that the quality is pretty good for the price. I currently have 12 of these, actually 13 of these switches, and so far no major issues. Tree Life also makes three way switches, and they make just regular toggle switches. So out the box you get a set of wall plates, they're not your standard ones you get from Home Depot or Lowe's. These ones actually snap onto the switch body itself. This is handy because if you want to pull them off you just snap them back off. There's no screws to attach them. The downside to this is that they look a little different from your typical standard wall plates. You don't have to use these wall plates, you can use one you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. Just be aware that they don't fit quite the same and you may notice a gap between the wall and the plate if you're using a standard plate. It also comes with a set of wire nuts and a couple screws to actually mount the switch to your box. On top of that it comes with a set of wire labels. These are super handy. When you take out the old switch, you just put these labels on the wires so you know which ones they are when you want to hook up the new switch. This is something that I kind of tossed to the side when I opened the box at first, but I ended up using it pretty much every time I installed one of these switches. Okay, so here's how she operates. You have three buttons. You have a push button that controls the on-off state of the switch, and you have plus and minus buttons that control the dimming. The push button to turn on and off the switch has an indicator on it. The indicator is illuminated when the switch is off. This would be used for if you're in a dark room and you want to find the switch at night. This may seem counterintuitive, but I've actually found it to be pretty handy. Another feature that I think is kind of neat is the dimmer LEDs that show the brightness level at the top of the switch. The switch remembers the brightness setting that you used last when you turn it back on. In manual operation, there is a slight delay from when you press the switch to when the light actually comes on. When the switch does come on, the LED indicator for the brightness scrolls across the top of the switch to the position at which you last left it. One of the main reasons for purchasing this is the Google Home and Alexa support. I'm going to show the Google Home integration. There really isn't much to it, mainly just following the instructions that are given in the manual, downloading the Smart Life app, connecting it to the app, and then you have to connect the Smart Life app to Google Home or Alexa. Hey, turn on the basement lights.